Good morning guests and girls and welcome back to another video and today is 10 rarest mounts in WoW. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Number 10 on our list is the Solar Spire Hawk and this drops off of Rukmar in the Spires of Iraq. Now this mount actually has, has an insanely low drop chance and you do not see that many people with this mount. Now obviously now it is a lot easier to actually try and solo this boss as we are currently now 120 but this item is looking like it's going to be absolutely fun as hell if you can actually obtain this. The Solar Spirehawk not only having a great aesthetic but with the low drop chance makes this item a very desired mount to actually have. Number 9 on our list is the First Season Arena mounts obtainable by only doing the first season of arena tournaments that ever came into the game. Now these items are exceedingly rare and I actually personally believe that these obviously now cannot be obtained anymore. So that being the case, this makes a very nice set of rare mounts that you could have gotten hold of but now you can't so a little bit of a troll right there number eight on our list is the big love rocket and this can be obtained from the love is in the air event this can happen by doing a daily which where, where you can get the mount in the heart shaped boxes that according to mmo champion it drops at a 0.03% drop chance for the big love rocket. Now obviously this mount actually comes on these types of lists so much, that's why I've put it at number 8 on this list. Number 7 on our list is the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent, and this drops from the Shah of Anger in Kunlai Summit. Basically this was a, pa this was a Pandaria mount, and holy damn, if you have this, I'm very very jealous of you, because I personally have been farming this mount pretty much weekly just to try and get a hold of it and I still do not have this. I am considering actually trying the black market auction house to try and see if I can actually get hold of this mount. So that is the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent at number 7. Number 6 on our list is the Thundering Cobalt Cloud Serpent and this drops, and this drops from a world boss in Pandaria called Nalak in the Thundering Isles, and this guy actually spawns right outside the Throne of Thunder. This mount is so rare to obtain, and personally, the aesthetic of it looks absolutely amazing. It's basically a, a recolor of the Alani mount, which you can get in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. But knowing that this mount is actually a lot rarer, it makes it more desirable for collectors, as this can still be obtained in-game. Number 5 on our list is the Black Karaji Resonating Crystal. This could only be obtained from the first person to ring the gong on your realm for the vanilla opening of the Gates of Onkaraj. Now this was an insanely long quest line which the entire server had to work together towards to achieve and the first person to actually ring the gong outside of Onkaraj was rewarded with the black Karaji resonating crystal. Not only that, this Karaji resonating crystal mount can actually, this Karaji battle tank can actually summoned outside of the actual raid and was a very desirable mount even now. You can get a recolor of some, something along this lines that from archaeology but it doesn't look as cool nor does it have the reputation behind it. Number four on our list is the fluorescent green Meccano Strider, given by mistake to a random player, but was allowed to keep it. Basically, a GM actually, basically a GM restored a guy's a guy's account and was given the fluorescent green Meccano Strider in order to use. He was also he was allowed to give. He was allowed to be given this to keep as it was the GM's mistake, but unfortunately but unfortunately, this mount is no longer was actually removed from this player because he was caught trying to sell his account. Number six on our list is the X-51 Nether Rocket or any other TCG mounts. 
Now this was brought out in the trading card game and basically these mounts are super super rare to get a hold of. Now obviously we do see them on the auction house from time to time and if you are not a dedicated gold farmer you really do not have gold cap to spend on these TCG mounts. These mounts are now at a limited supply as there was only so many of these cards actually printed. Personally I do not own any of these TCG card mounts but I am considering actually trying to get a hold of one as I would like to spend some gold at some point. Number two on our list is the Heavenly Azure Cloud Serpent, and this could be obtained from collecting 300 mounts. And basically, as expansions go on at the moment, we're getting more and more mounts where we can hit these, these milestones for collecting 300 mounts in order to achieve this. So that being the case, that is the Heavenly Azure Cloud Serpent at number two. Number one on our list is the Time Lost Proto Drake. And this is a 72 hour respawn timer, which shares a respawn timer with another Drake. This item is 100% drop chance, but the chances of you actually being able, and the chances of you being able to find this mount, be able to get it is insanely low as it is consistently camped nearly all the time. Your biggest hope is to go onto the, uh, the lowest pop realm you can think of and just camp there for the rest of your life. This will literally be the time you have lost for the Proto Drake. That was the worst pun imaginable, but that is the time lost Proto Drake at number one. Now obviously this wasn't in any particular order and personally, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this doing this list, so that is 10 of the rarest mounts you can get in game. Now I hope you like this video guys, and if you want to see more like this, please feel free to give this video a like, and as always, have an awesome day guys.